Okay, this is a explanation of how to use the Benner, Mission Benner Slicer. I did not create this tool. So the first thing we'll do is we'll choose the image and we have it here. Now, the image may not always show up. You can move the image around um, on the edges of the of the, uh, the picture. Obviously, it'll turn to black. This thing has the ability to manipulate how many rows. Now, a recent change that Niantic has made to mission banners is they're only allowing 18 missions per um, set. So that ends up being three rows. It's very limiting of what we can do, what we can't do. It's kind of annoying. Over here, you can uh, set your angles, the rotations, a zoom in and out. You can stretch on the, uh, the X and Y axes. You can uh, reset the stretches. You can mirror the images, set transparency of the image itself. You can create a background that it will transparent into. Um, a circular cut will automatically cut them out circular instead of square and then redo it. And you can choose to have the golden ring automatically part of it. The output size is also something that it will allow. So you can manipulate your image as needed. And when you're done, you just download the badges. It sets it up here. And we have it downloaded. So what you get when you end up downloading this, um, this badge is a nifty little zip. Extracting this gives you a mock-up a readme file and the uh, folder with the badges itself. Uh, the readme just explains that when doing the mission, you would use, for, for the first set of the mission, you would use the last badge, which would be 18. Um, and it opens up and would look like this. And you can go through and see each of the sets to where when it's finished, it looks like this with circular cut with the golden rings just to give that extra little uh, that extra little punch and that's the explanation of the mission banner slicer